how to use a crisp call. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you what is crisp call and also how we can use it in our businesses and also how we can manage the calls or the support of the clients within this platform. So for those who doesn't know crisp call, uh, it is going to be a platform that is going to take care of the telephone charges of yours and also the work. So basically you are going to get everything uh, related to the uh, communication for phone calls, SMS, and also um, let's say here support teams. So you are going to get here um, multiple phone numbers that you're going to, let's say, distribute to your team members on the support and also to the professionals. So you are going to give them here a telephony solution. So you are going to not let them use, for example, their personal, uh, let's say ships or operators. So you're going to take that on charge on the name of the, your business or your company. So where can we use this crisp call platform? So basically if you run, for example, some stores like Shopify, WooCommerce, or you have an enterprise or a, a small company that you have, uh, the ownership of it and also you have some relations with clients such as let's say your buyers or some services that you're going to provide to clients you need an app that will help assist these clients and make them all in touch or the whole time in touch with your team so basically with that you're going to put some trust or gain some more trust about your company within the client environment so here you're going to uh, visit the crisp call as you can see crispcall.com and you're going to see here the landing page as you can see the uh, here the platform or the dashboard of that platform is going to be resembling WhatsApp and also Viper and all the let's say here calling platform or messaging also calling platforms such as also WhatsApp etc uh, here you're going to get um, not one, but you can purchase a lot of numbers. You can also have a team chat, as you can see here on this specific area in this demonstration. So you can go ahead and see that we have a team chat. Uh, also, you can go ahead and use some bulk SMS to or, or uh, some SMS campaigns that you can use into this app. Also, you can set up the contact and you can have a power dialer. So right there you are going to get the organization of the clients named right there also the tags the email business for them or the email addresses and every type of label that you can add for the clients you can chat with them within only one platform call them within your uh, this uh, account as you can see and etc so this uh, platform is well known uh, in between the uh, crm's uh, domain and also within a lot of CRM integrations. So you can go ahead and see that it is going to be well known within Zapier. Um, also, we have a lot of sales forces, for example, and etc. You can go ahead and see it everywhere. Now, the uh, the AI products that they have been presenting these um, couple of months are going to be, for example, the unified call box here. You're going to get also the uh, facility or the, um, let's say, a capability to have multiple numbers and only you can go ahead and enter them all in the same time within the same account. Also, you can go ahead and get a voicemail set up in case you are not going to be available for the uh, in-place calls. You can transfer the calls for the calls and etc. You can create some email not email but sms or bulk sms campaigns to the clients if you have something that you're going to inform your clients about also you can go ahead and set up this specific platform to the two-factor authentication or to get otp codes for your um let's say here clients and also your uh, uh, uh team and etc so here you can see that it is going to set up our uh put in your hands a lot of solutions like the internet telephony, auto attendant, the live call monitoring, virtual receptionist, and etc. 
So here we are going to talk about the pricing of the platform. Obviously, when you uh, say something about telephony, basically you are not going to see all the platforms that will provide a free service. So for this one, it is not going to be completely free. So basically, when you are going to open up an account within the platform, you need to select a plan. They have the monthly and also the annual plan. So we have the essential, which is going to use uh, be used by a user per month. You're going to get the calling and SMS charges, which is going to be applicable. And also, it is recommended for small businesses, startups, and freelancers. The standard one is going to be for calling SMS charges applicable, of course, like this one. And this is going to be uh, recommended for mid-sized businesses and call centers. And we have also the enterprise, which is going to be having a custom pricing and also some custom features. So you can go ahead and see that we have a comparator for the plans in here. You can go ahead and check everything from here and there. So you are going to get a, a great idea or the whole idea about where, what is going to be essential for you and what not in this case. So basically you are going to click on get started whenever you have the idea to open up an account within this platform. In my case, I have uh, clicked on this. So I have already set up an account with my email address. So you're going to set up here the guided account with this. So you're going to choose here if you are going to use it for individual use or business use. For example, in here, I'm going to choose the individual. Then you're going to choose the case that you are in. For example, what are you going to use this uh, specific account for? For example, WhatsApp verifications, Telegram, PayPal, TikTok, Tinder, or whatever. Or you can go ahead and put it as a business. Let's say here, um, cases like here, um, you are going to have something else if you are going to use it for businesses. So you are going to set up here for multiple reasons or whatever reason that you want. That means that you can use it for your personal uses if you are going to be abroad your country and also you're going to have here this specific account to receive uh, some roaming or make some roaming calls that you're going to be outside the uh, borders of your country for example without buying a chip also getting a let's say here a bandwidth uh, of internet uh, volume each one of the month so aside from that you can go ahead and select the um, uses of that specific account then you are going to set up the business names the roles also the business type that you have for example the number of users then you are going to head over the next step which is going to be basically setting up here the um uh, right there the plans so this is it the crispo plans we have the essential the standard and the enterprise that was basically everything after you have uh, set up the account you are going to get your dashboard your number also your workspace just like that i'm going to show you here we have it on the beginning of the platform it is going to be in here so they have the app of them uh, on the android and also on the ios so you're not going to miss out anything and also your team will not miss out anything that in here they have the uh, possibility to get the auto reply with the ai so in case you are going to program something that is going to be responding to your client and also giving them the uh, uh, reassurance about you that you are available and etc. This is the dashboard. As you can see, it is going to get a, a glance of it like this is it. And everything is going to be showing up simply. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.